All right, so we're still continuing on slope intercept form. Um, again, this is a very important form of the line, so we should be starting to recognize it at this point. Um, and we do want to memorize it because it's going to help quite a bit moving forward in all the math classes, honestly, that we offer here and even going um, after high school. You'll continue to use this um, depending on the math class you're going into, kind of. Um, but um, this is definitely a very important form of the line or a linear equation. Um, so we're going to um, find the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation for a linear function given a table of values. So the y-intercept is the starting point. And again, I always refer to it this way, starting point. Um, and with that one, what we want to know is when x is 0. So we can identify this in the table by finding the coordinate with a 0 for x. So immediately I can come over here and go, oh, there's my starting point. There is my y-intercept, which is negative 3. All right. Um, because it's on the y, oh, let me finish that sentence. Because it's on the y-axis, that's why x is 0. So if I'm thinking of a coordinate grid like this, I want to know where to cross this line. That means I haven't gone right or left yet. So it's going to be 0 because I don't go right or left. I either go up or down for my y-intercept. So that's why we're looking for zero there, just the reasoning behind it. Um, all right, so um, the slope is the ratio of y to x. So it's actually more the ratio of the change of y to x. Of, I'm going to go the change um, of y to the change. Change, oh, there should be an a there. Um, of x. So I'll fix that so that it actually is correct looking on your paper. So hopefully it's correct while you're looking at it right now. Um, it was just an oops on my part for typing that that way. Um, so we want to look at the, the change for each. So this one, if I look up here and I go negative 2 to negative 1, well, I'm adding 1 there. Negative 1 to 0, I'm adding 1. 0 to 1, I'm adding 1. And 1 to 2, I'm adding 1. So my run appears to be 1. And my change in y's, so for this one, negative 7 to negative 5, I'm adding 2. Negative 5 to negative 3, I'm adding 2. Negative 3 to negative 1, I'm adding 2. And negative 1 to 1, I'm also adding 2. So I know this one tends to confuse students a little bit, but remember if we're on a number line like this and I have negative 1 and I have 1, what I want to know is what's the distance here? Well, it's 1 and 1, which is 2. So just keep that in mind when you're doing integers there. So my rise is 2. And remember, slope is rise over run, like this. So make sure you put it in the correct order. So it's going to be rise over run, which would be 2 over 1, which we can just write as 2. You don't need to write 2 over 1. All right, so our equation um, is going to be the slope-intercept form, which we can actually see down here in the other problem. So we're going to have y equals, I'm going to skip a little bit and write x. Those parts are always the same. What changes is our slope, which is the m. So that goes next to the x. It's always being multiplied by the x. And then we add or subtract the y-intercept depending on if it's positive or negative. Since it's negative, I'm subtracting 3. So this is our equation here for um, slope-intercept form based on a table of values. All right, so down here we have when given a point and a slope, we can still use slope intercept form of the line, although we will fill in x, y, and m so that we can solve for b. So remember this is x, this is y, this is m. So it's a line passing through this point and it has a slope of negative 5 fourths. So we have a lot of information here. What we're missing is the y-intercept. I need the y-intercept to write that equation. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in. So y is 4, m is negative 5 fourths, x, I'm going to put in parentheses, is negative 8. The what I don't have is the b. So that's what I'm going to solve for. Okay, so I'm going to move everything, I'm going to move all this over to the other side so that I can figure out what this is. So first let's reduce this fraction. So we have negative 5 times negative 8, you multiply first. 
So I get positive 40, and then I divide. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this in blue just for simplicity's sake. So 40 divided by four equals 10 plus B. And now to get B all by itself, all I have to do is undo this addition here. I'm gonna subtract 10 from both sides. So I get four minus 10, and that's gonna give me negative six. So I get negative six, sorry, I had to write it off to the side here. 10 minus 10 cancels, which is what we wanted because I want B to be all by itself. I just wanna know what does B equal. So now I can go back to that same form and I'm gonna rewrite the equation Y equals X because when we write the final equation, we write it back in this form. Now I know M, that was still 5 fourths, so they had given me that. What I did this work for was to find that B, which is negative six. So um, that is writing an equation in slope-intercept form, either given a table or given a point and a slope. So go ahead and go on Alex and give that a try.